I'm done. episode for you today because I need to talk to you about something. There's things in our life that slow us down, that drag us down, and a lot of people make the mistake of removing some things that are actually there to help us. It's true, but I want to talk about something very difficult because sometimes there's things in our life that is seemingly great. It's actually slowing us down. In some cases, it's hurting us. Let me tell you that I struggle with depression and I have for a lot of my life. And you know, there was things that happened in my childhood growing up that didn't help that. But today, I ask myself, what is going on sometimes? And I sit there wondering, evaluating my life and how it's going and on the surface and maybe to other people, it looks okay. It looks like everything's normal. But deep down, you know something's not right. You know something is dragging you. You know something is causing resistance. Now, I'm not one to run from resistance. In fact, I'm probably stubborn enough that I would run through resistance longer than maybe I should. But the point today is, what's dragging you down? What's causing you to lose the momentum from going forward? Now, I don't want you to take this the wrong way because usually what we do when we hear this kind of talk is we just justify removing all the people or things things we just don't like because we're unwilling to push through them. But if you're a person that's willing to look in the mirror and evaluate yourself first before you cast judgment on someone else, then I think I'm talking to you. There's things in our life that are seemingly good, but they just drive us into a deeper black hole. It's time to start letting go of those things, even if it's super difficult, so that you can really do what you were meant to do. at the beginning that I'm done. And I am, but not with this. In fact, the opposite is true. I'm done with the things that are dragging me down, the things that are slowing me, that I know I should have let go a long time ago, but because of my stubbornness, tried to push through it. It doesn't have to be looked at as a bad thing when it's time to move on from a certain scenario. It doesn't always have to be a negative. You can actually change and go through this change and actually everyone comes out pretty good. It seems like every 10 years of my life, I go through a massive moving. Well, that 10 years is right now and it's happening again. The last one was the greatest move I ever had in my entire life. It brought me here to this place that I love. Now, the location's staying the same, but the focus is starting to shift. What you're gonna see for me now is a Jesse that is undivided in focus. My focus is that people all over the world have this creative thing inside of them and it's just waiting to be explored. My job that I feel I'm supposed to do is get people to see deeper and to see that thing inside of them with more clarity, with more truth than maybe they've looked at before. I've held back and hindered myself a little bit because there's things that I believe and views I have that aren't popular, especially in these days. Before you freak out and hit the next video, you've watched me up to this point and you know that I'm not just a jerk trying to trigger people enough to get likes and views. I genuinely care. And every time someone messaged me and says, hey Jesse, I was able to take the plunge. I was able to make the jump and start doing what I wanted to do. It's awesome. So on this rainy afternoon, as I contemplate the last 10 years and maybe what is gonna happen in the next 10 years, I can honestly say to you today that I'm done with the things that drag me down. I'm done with divided focuses. If you're sitting there today watching this at home or at work or on your phone, ask yourself this question, where's my focus? How divided is it? There's responsibility, there's things you have to do, it's not what I'm talking about. You still have to do those things. What I'm talking about is much deeper. Where is your heart? Because wherever your heart truly is, that's the thing you find the most valuable. We can talk about if that's in the right place or not another time. Let's go with it is today. But you have to ask yourself, is my heart focused in one place or is it divided, causing me to be half as effective? 
as I'm supposed to be. This episode is a turning point. I had one six months ago that I said I want to quit. That was about this, but today is the inverse of that. Today I say I'm going to go for it, and I'm jumping off a higher peak than I ever have before. Join me on this journey. Follow along. I love people, and I want you to be a part of it. It was a different one today, but it had to be said. I'll see you soon. Next week. Yeah.